Here is a project that required some re-sloping and re-waterproofing of some suspended decking on a condominium complex where the old urethane coatings were wearing and delaminating, chipping and flaking, and there had been multiple layers of paint that had been applied over the course of 10 years that we went in and redesigned. We re-sloped for proper drainage and we recoated for proper waterproofing and sealing of the decks. The first item of business was to remove the old coatings before anything else could be performed. We did this by way of high pressure washer systems using 4200 psi pressure cold pressure washers. Afterwards there were the remnants of some of the urethane that did not come off with the pressure washers and so this was all removed by hand and as you can see in some areas was very tenacious. Then there was the flashing that had corroded as a result of all of the ice melt water freeze thaw cycle that had to be dealt with. The next step now is to re-slope the decks and so we now mix the product in order to re-slope that with this polymer modified concrete that we use. The method used here in creating that slope was to find out uh, what it would require to get the proper quarter inch per foot grade by using a 2x4 and a screw on the end of it to give it the pitch that it needed and then just simply putting it into place as smoothly as possible. This is the end result of all of the sloping. Never. <laughs> it's gotta the, loosen up. It's got to be the glasses and the cap for sure, man. Now that the concrete is hardened, it's necessary to grind off any high edges as well as any shadowing that may telegraph through the urethane when it's applied. And this is what is taking place here afterwards. Then of course the tools involved in the cleanup after all the dust is created from the grinding. The next phase is to do a skim coat with a fine granule sand so that we can get uniformity and consistency over the entire decking system there now so that we can get uh, a respectable finish with the urethane so we can see that the flaws and the variations are all covered. Once that phase is completed now we're ready to go ahead with the first primer coat of urethane to be placed. At this point in the process we have been involved on the project for about four days now. Once the urethane is mixed up there's about a 20 minute pot life before it flashes and gets hard so there's some volatility working with the product and it has to be worked with quickly and as accurately as possible. We follow behind that while it's still wet with the cleats to get out over the urethane while it's still wet and now we cast down what's called rubber granules to give it some texture and non-slip uh, surface profile so that it will be safe for public foot traffic. This is what the process looks like after the rubber granules have been cast into the first primer coat to create that non-slip surface. A second coat of the urethane is applied now over the rubber granules to uh, not only give a build of thickness that is required for strength, but is also designed to cover the rubber granules consistently in color. Once again, once the urethane is mixed up, there's only 20 minutes of pot life to work with it, and it requires a great amount of intensity to put it into place. We empty out the material, the urethane that's in the bucket, so that we can try to extend the pot life 
of the urethane as much as we possibly can. The cooler the product is, the longer it is workable. The last phase of this now is to put the glaze or finish final coat over the urethane that has already been put into place. The same process is to add the color, mix it into the urethane, make it a homogeneous and consistent mix, and then fortunately with this glaze coat we have a little bit longer pot life to work with it and it is not so demanding with a pot life of approximately three hours. So it gives us it a little bit of breathing room. I, I dip it and try to keep as much on the brush as possible. First thing is I, that you cut in the edges all around the perimeter, any posts, pillars, railings, and then we go behind it with the rollers and just roll it into place as quickly as possible. Some of our situations can be a little precarious and non-OSHA approved. This is the end product and the owners will be happy to know that this should give them about 10 to 15 years of life and wearability before it needs to be reglazed. This concludes our segment on waterproofing with urethane over suspended decking.